And it goes a little something like Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley and I'm so happy to have you here with me today. Today I just wanted to do like a chill sit down video with you guys because I've been getting lots of comments um, about like all these videos that you guys wanted me to do. So I figured I might as well group them kind of into like one video and it's basically just gonna be like how I grew my clientele, um, how I market my spa, how you start kind of from like the ground zero from nothing and I do have a video um, like this it's like five marketing tips I think is what I called it but basically I'm just gonna kind of re go over all of those with you guys and I wrote some stuff down to keep myself on track first and foremost I wanted to talk about how I originally marketed myself as a business um, it was not easy it's not an overnight process um, but when you decide to take the leap to open your own business you're gonna have to do some of this stuff um, but like I said first and foremost when you're building a business I recommend talking to a bunch of like family and family friends and your own friends and what I did was I kind of was like okay who would come that I know would like actually come to my spa um, we have like a lot of uh, like family friend kind of things from my brothers playing football um, they both have girlfriends I was just kind of like figuring out like how my clientele would kind of build possibly in that way and I know Natalie watches this video she's been like a great help when it comes to building my clientele um, she always recommends people to me which is like super helpful my family comes and supports me my boyfriend's family comes and supports me so that was like how i kind of it made me take the leap because i knew i would have some of them behind my back now let's say you didn't as i'm just saying that's kind of like where my mindset was at first and so if you don't really have like a good friends and family basis i think social media is going to be your best friend this is how you build most of my clients other than my family and friends i built most of them from social media there's so many things you could do you could do facebook ads instagram ads which is like you pay for an ad you target a location um target their like what they like and then the ads get sent to them um you could do reels reels get so many views these days all you have to do is like take a video of doing something in your spa even if you think it's like not necessary they those are the videos that blow up it is so funny like i don't even know how like the algorithm works necessarily but reels are your best friend tiktok is your best friend right now um everybody's watching tiktok again take a video post something and i promise you it'll get views another thing i like to do is i like to follow people that are like nearby so if i go on like natalie's page for example she follows all these girls i will like follow them too because you know what i've had people come in and they're like you followed me and then i looked at your page and i was like your brows are really good and so they came and it's not like the cheesy like following spree so that you get followers that's not what i'm doing i'm just like following a bunch of like girls and guys who i would think maybe would like mxa beauty bar and honestly a lot of the time it kind of works so that's like another reason or that's another way I did it but yeah Instagram is going to be your best friend like I said before it's just such a good marketing tool just all social media platforms even Facebook um, I post on my Facebook and it's like you would be surprised who supports you like I have people from like high school who I never thought would like come to my spa but i'm like oh my god thank you so much for coming like it's just it's crazy and even if you think like oh like if i post it on my facebook like nobody's gonna come like i know those friends on them on facebook they're not gonna come yeah like i just said they'll surprise you um moving on from social media because yes that's important but it this one's kind of more like once you have some clientele the best way to keep your clientele and like continue to build and have them tell that you're like have them tell their friends is by being unique in a way like that kind of makes you stand out sadly the esthetician world i mean it's not really sadly we got so many like 
girls and guys in the aesthetic world which i absolutely love but it's a little saturated in like chicago the surrounding suburbs i'm sure in a lot of major cities there's pl plenty of estheticians which again not a problem but you have to be unique and you have to stand out and people like who they like so they'll come to you no matter like what but it's important to do like little things that you know is like kind of unique to you i am all about vibes in the room i got lots of candles i got smells going on i got diffusers i have really soft blankets like i'm really about the cozy vibe so all my clients that come yeah we still get down to like the nitty-gritty acne and stuff but a lot of them come back to me because I have such a relaxing, chill vibe that some estheticians don't do, which is totally fine. Um, a girl, like, four doors down, I went to esthetician school with her. Um, she's super cute. She, her, like, salon is super cute, but she does, like, soft pop music with the lights, like, kind of still on. Um, it's not even pop. It's, like, chill. Like, chill music. Like, I don't know. <laughs> but, um... And that's like super good. Her clients love that. Mine is like lights are black, candles are lit. <laughs> it's vibing in here. So that's like, you know, that's what stands us out. That's the difference between us two. Um, it's just really important to have your own like little niche stuff that you like to do. I am all about the enzymes and the microderms. So my clients know that when they come in and I'm all about the brows. Um, I post brows all the time. So that's how I get my clientele too, is doing good brows. Um, so then another thing that's like, that I try to like do is always like add, always learn more. Um, that'll kind of just help your business in general. Like I always post, I haven't done it in a while, which I really want to, but um, I used to do, I like used to as in like two months ago. I just haven't in the past like two, three months. Um, I would do like a Christmas facial, summer facial, um, spring facial, Valentine's Day facial, just like little fun add-ons that helps keep your, keep your clientele. It also helps build it because they see that on social media and they're like, what is that? Like spring facial. And then they're like curious, you know? Um, but yeah, I always like to add, I'm always learning new tricks, new techniques. Um, it's just really important to keep these like all in mind when you're building a business, um, especially when you want to build and keep a clientele. Now, when I first started out, um, I mean, I don't recommend doing discounts all the time, but when I first started out, something that was really helpful for me is I did loyalty cards. So after your sixth service, you get the fifth one or the seventh one free um i did 20 percent off for people like recommending you like if someone comes in and says like oh natalie told me blah 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 um i would give like a percentage off i did student discounts i did like monthly discounts just everybody loves a discount now i've talked about this before in a different video you don't want to have discount chasers so that you like those clients only come in when you have a discount you obviously don't want that but it's nice to have like a little discount. That does help when building a business. I mean, you can't start a like $100 facial, facial and just hope people just come flying through the door. I know we're saturated. There's estheticians all around me. There's probably like a hundred out all around me just in Wheaton, you know? So you have to have like a little incentive for them to come check you out. And then once they check you out, they might really like you and stay with you. Um, but yeah, that's like, that was like a huge help with discounts. Um, something I wanted to add in here, um, someone put in a comment, how do you kind of avoid like mental blocks, mental blocks for creativity, motivation? When you own a business, it does get lonely. Um, and honestly, you just have to remember why you did it in the first place and Sometimes I get bored of doing like aesthetics. Sometimes I am not creative and I'm like, I just don't even know what to add anymore or what to discount right now. Um, but I just have to remember, I have a good clientele. Um, they love what I do. You have to just like stay true to yourself. Um, remember why you did it and you have to just keep doing it. Like I swear, I at the moment right now, I am super burnt out on makeup. I just have <clears throat> like not 
an interest right now in doing it um obviously i love makeup deep down and i know i do and i've wanted to do it my whole life i'm just a smidge burnt out right now so i took a little like break on doing it um i haven't done weddings i haven't done a wedding in like six months so now i'm like kind of prepared to do one again like i'm like okay i could do one right now um but which i do i have a bunch coming up in june and july and i am excited for those plus the money's really good but it's just like sometimes you're just not really feeling it and in the esthetician world sometimes we just get burnt out because we do so many um when you do like so many facials a day five days a week like it obviously gets a little boring but you have to remember like i absolutely love aesthetics deep down i love makeup deep down it's such a creative outlet for me and i just i really like doing it so i just have to keep reminding myself and that's what you have to keep doing too um honestly it'll pass sometimes when you give yourself a break from it for a little bit you're excited to go back or you need to update something update your spa make it look cute get like a new tool or get a new mask and then you're excited to like do a facial again with that mask or tool um but yeah that's basically everything i was gonna kind of cover in this video it's, but i hope you guys liked this video don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys